all this week. We are sharing some fun Super Bowl snacks that you can make at home. You can check out Maggie's easy queso from yesterday. And today is something you can dip in that queso, handmade soft pretzels. It's an Alton Brown recipe. And a couple weeks ago, I posted a picture of these pretzels that my son had made. Everyone demanded the recipe. I didn't know it. So I dragged my son Philip into the kitchen with me to show me how it's done. Take a look. Hi, I'm Justin Kaur, and this is my son Philip. Philip, what are we making today? Uh, homemade soft pretzels. Yeah! One and a half cups of warm water. Make sure it's at least uncomfortable. Let's put your hands in. Bah! One tablespoon of salt. Mix it up. One packet of active dry yeast. We let that sit for five minutes. And now, Philip, flour. And five and a half cups of flour. Two tablespoons of oil. Of oil. Bloop. We mix. Put down the whisk and move to hand mixing. Philip has now done a great job of kneading the dough. Yeah. Oil the bowl. Put some cling wrap over it. If you have a proving drawer, set it there. If not, boom, just set it by the fire. It's been an hour. Roasting by the fire, not really roasting. Just proving. Right. Let's get our dough. Philip's trying to take over. Philip, now the exciting part. The dough's been proved. I can prove that this is dough. Look, dough. I have the documents. Mix it up. Just uh, put the oil spread around a bit. Then you are going to want to cut it into eighths. <coughs> Now this is probably the hardest. Roll it out like you're making a snake. Right, the hardest <laughs> step. You want it to get it. Play-Doh snake it. All right, so when we got a little bit more than a foot. You want to make it into a U. Cross make it into it. a U. Cross. Twist. Fold up. And now into a bunch of water. A bunch of baking soda. Now put those pretzels into boiling baking soda water and sometimes they fall apart and that's okay once it starts floating pull it out and put it on a pan with parchment paper then save up a little money buy an egg crack it crack it crack it <laughs> that's okay once you got your egg wash mixed up take it and paint your pretzels. Salt to taste. Set your oven to 450. Put in those pretzels. In 10 to 15 minutes, voila. In the meantime, high five your son. Bam. Oh, what a good helper in the kitchen That's he awesome. was. I, yeah. I was the helper. He really led the charge here. <laughs> That's true. This is what they look like when they're finished. Wow, um, look oh, at that. Smells they look, delicious. They look okay. They're better when they're, you know, right out of the oven. So I kind of yeah. reheated them here. Um, but to make sure they wow. taste great, regardless, brought some nacho cheese. It is not homemade at all. It's from a can at the store. That's the best kind. And y'all got to try oh this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And, uh, all right. Tell me okay. should we dip in? How good it yes. is. Okay. No pressure, but do not break my Mr. son's Brenda, heart. Grab one. <laughs> Whoa. Here. Grab that. There you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Make Perfect. a little bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. Philip, it's that was okay. so good. Mm -hmm. Great job, Philip. Mm -hmm.